Hello again. I've got an interesting little video for you here. Now this is a pair of AirPods 3, but it's not made by Apple. It's made from a company called Hoko. Now I've had lots of products from them over the years, battery banks, phone cases, everything else, but I've never seen them make anything like this. So I thought I'd pick one up and give it a try, see what it's like. The advertising that it had on the Shopee website that I got it from, it seemed a little bit too good to be true. A lot of things that they sell on there, sometimes they'll use a, an original product and make a video showing what that product does and then sell something that doesn't do a very good job of it. Um, but I'm gonna test this out thoroughly and see what it's like, see if it's worth you picking up. It was quite cheap, so that's definitely a, an advantage for this. So let's see what it's like. I've had a few of these last year and the year before and the sound quality wasn't great. Right, this is the insert that came with the, the packaging. So you can pause the video and just have a, a quick glimpse through that if you wish to. It's just stating about charging them and the uh, overall general things that it can do. Right, so this is the AirPods 3 or the True Wireless earbuds, I think they call them. All right, so we've got a, an iPhone cable, silica gel, don't eat that, and a little piece of paper, and this one is telling you to make sure that you charge them fully before you use them, which of course I haven't got time to do myself, so hopefully they've got a bit of charge in them. And it says to remove the, the little pieces of yellow from the bottom of the stalks. All right, let's open this up. Right, so we've got type A to lightning cable on the other end. The lightning cable doesn't look too bad quality. It actually looks a little bit dirty, but um, it's probably been sitting on a shelf somewhere. I won't be using that anyway. Right, that plastic was absolute nightmare to get off. I actually had to speed the video up. Okay, so this is on the right, you've got the original Apple Gen 3. So as you can see, it's the same size. It looks pretty much the same. That doesn't feel, it's got some sticky residue from the, the packaging. Right, okay. Um, it doesn't look too bad, does it? It looks pretty much the same. The, the button's in the same place. It's got a little bit of different writing on the back there. The metallic strip isn't metal like it is on the Apple version. It's not cold to the touch at all. And it doesn't feel like metal, it feels more like plastic. But at the price, definitely not going to complain about that. Right, so this is the original Apple AirPods Gen 3. Okay, so it took that many seconds to register with the phone. And let's see what this one's like. Okay. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to do that quickly. Right, okay. So you've got to press the button on the back to pair them. There we go. So it says AirPods. And then it's changed that to CES 10. And it's showing the percentage of the battery Let's just check that out. Okay. Yep, so it's showing the percentage of each AirPod as well. That's good. I'm going to go through the list of all the different things that it can do now. So, battery percentage, you can change the name as well. So, I've still left it at CES 10 so that you can see the difference between the Apple ones as well. It shows the battery on the widget. You can use it for the listening app. And it's got spatial audio, so for fixed and for head tracking also. You can use it with Apple Music, Find My Works, and it plays a, a tune as well, and calls. But the volume was very, very low, even at full volume. It was difficult for me to hear my wife when she was talking to me. Right, so as you can see, it's got the separate battery for each one left and right, and it's at 69% and one's at 100. 
but that's enough to test it with. All right. Sound-wise, it sounds, I'm going to say, identical to the original Apple ones. I don't think there's any difference at all there. Okay, so it's saying that the, the volume is a little bit on the high side, which it is. I'll turn that down a bit. Okay, it actually makes it sound better if you turn it down a little bit. But if it's the same with all earphones, then you do need to break them in for about six hours. Okay, so this is the genuine Gen 3, and it's got a, a magnet there, so it's MagSafe compatible. Now this one all right, doesn't have a magnet, and it doesn't look like it has wireless charging either. No, it's not working at all. So it doesn't work with wireless charging. Right, okay, battery charging takes about an hour, and listening, three to four hours, and the sound quality is excellent. I think it's great value for money. Now, the, the phone call, as I said before, it was on the low side, it was nice and clear. My wife said that I was nice and clear, but it was difficult to hear her. Um, so, but she was also in a taxi, so maybe she wasn't speaking as loudly as she could have been. Right, some close-up images here, and as you can see, they've got not just blanks or <laughs> painted on, I've seen before. They actually have them, and they do seem to be working. Uh, it's really difficult. The, the main thing I found was that these aren't as magnetic, because the original ones will actually stick to the case or to another magnet. Um, but these ones don't seem to be as magnetic. The battery life, I've been testing for the last couple of days. The sound doesn't seem to be any different to the original Apple ones. The only thing I did notice is a, a little bit of a crackle when you originally connect to a device. But it connects up easily. You can listen for three or four hours, no problem at all. The left ear one was going flat faster than the right one, but I was still getting between three and four hours before I was getting a low battery on the left side. So as far as I'm concerned, that's brilliant. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.